global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. For a while now, there's been a tussle between Bolamet and Rupita Obina Atiko Bobaka. Well, as you speak, um, there have been, even within the petition, and uh, there's this part of the petition that speaks about the certification or the person of, of uh, Bola Metunubu. Well, some private investigator and, 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 and political analyst have decided to take it upon himself to do findings of how through uh, Bola Metunubu is, his certificate is when it comes to the issue of Chicago University. He took time to do this investigation and also in another news you're going to see. Uh, obviously, Atiko Babaka is making strong moves to have some sort of engagement with Labour Party and they have sent his own strong ally to do that. Wow. Talk about Labour Party being the main opposition. It's really quite shocking. The moment we're going to find out all these juicy details, but before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified. It's next to data channel on YouTube. Let's start with uh, this issue of uh, certification of Bola Metunibu. But don't forget that the, the matter is already in court. And one would expect that before this whole thing, knowing how fantastically corrupt our people can be, uh, I expect that Peter B must have done his due diligence of having hard copies of whatever it is he's filing. So there will not be uh, stories that touch afterwards. Well, according to the news, a black and white photo book dug out from the archive of the Chicago State University has surfaced on social media. This photo book comprises of images of graduating students of an unknown year with names like Samuel Sultan, Janetta Thomas, Patricia Thomas, Julie Sultan, and many others. But however, the interesting part of the photo book is the image of APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who featured in the photo book. This, the controversy surrounding the missing certificate of the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, has finally been laid to rest, according to the private investigator and a polit political analyst. Earlier, of, earlier on Monday, uh, a photo book of Chicago State University surfaced on social media. The photo book is in black and white, vintage appearance, had images of graduating students with Bola Metunibu featuring the photo book, uh, and a whole lot of people have been talking. Well, let's quickly, according to him, he said, following the repeated allegations, Farouk Perugi, a United States-based Nigerian lecturer, said he reached out to a colleague of mine at the Chicago State University to help him verify if Tunibu graduated from the school. The colleague, after verifying from the registrar's office, shared the university's response. He said, look, in light of renewed doubts about Tunibu's qualification, I again reached out to a colleague of mine at the Chicago State University to help me verify if Tunibu graduated from the school. She told me he did, but said she did go ask at the registry's office, registrar's office. She shared this with me on his social media page. Well, uh, according to the news, Caleb Westberg, who is in charge of the Office of Records and Registration of Chicago State University, confirmed Tunibu's attendance in a test email response as at Monday, June 27. I guess that should be 2022 because we never reached June. So it's not possible that it is this year. Okay, so he also confirmed that Tunibu was awarded uh, a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with honors. Uh, the email reads, and I quote, to whom it may concern, please be advised that Bola Metunibu attended Chicago State University from August 1977 to June 1979. He was awarded a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with honors in June 2022, 1979. His major was accounting. A lot of Nigerians have been reacting to this, but from all indication, these findings took place in, uh, in took place in 2022. So I feel that uh, Peter will be on uh, being on uh, personally. I feel he ought to have done his due diligence before putting that in this pet petition. If there's something sinister, he should have a hard copy and keep in mind. I guess it may not be the certification per se, but maybe the age behind the certification, of which also he has already imputed in his uh, form, nom uh, form uh, nomination form 
of which he has stated he's about um, 71 now. So if it's found falsified, he may, his um, election, or rather his uh, um, president elect may also be annulled. But then it's dicey. They are already in court trying to find out how it plays out. But in another news, very quickly, um, but, uh, Atiku Abubaka have also decided to reach out to uh, Peter Obi's Labour Party. The question is, why? Well, Chieftain of the PDP, Osita Chidioke, has stirred dozens of mixed reactions after he visited the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, on Wednesday. Taking to his verified social media handle, Chidioke revealed that he met with Peter Obi at his campaign office after a meeting with the presidential candidate of the P PDP, Atiku Abubakar. He also revealed that during his meeting with Atiku, he was asked by Atiku to dip in their engagement with Labour Party before his visit to Obi's office. Wow! He wrote, and I quote, uh, At 8 a.m. today, I met with AA, that's Atiku Abubakar. Atiku and, and he asked that we deepen our engagement with Labour Party. At 6 p.m., I met with my brother at Peter Obi at his campaign office, where he has been since 8 a.m. workaholic. And still plans to be there till 10 p.m. My God, if we miss Peter, we will miss something. It is stop there. It's interesting how the s candidates are out and about while Peter Obi is still working. Now, he made this known as he shares photos of himself interacting with Peter Obi at his campaign office. The photo shared by Osita Chidioke was followed by dozens of mixed reactions as Nigerians reacted differently on social media. Uh, well, let's just take one or two reactions very quickly and we'll look at also, the possibility of Bola Metunibu having certificates from that Chicago University. Well, this one here says, you didn't take a picture with you were with Atiku. Why post only pictures with Peter Obi? Are we supposed to forget that you were on the wrong side of history? Don't use our principal to rebrand your image. You are meeting with Peter Obi because it's crystal clear he won the election. Wow, Nigerians. And the person here says, you said Peter Obi is not a heavyweight in Nigerian politics, only for Labour Party to retire your brother. Take your, your Atiku riding self out of Peter Obi's office, my God. <laughs> and the person here says, Atiku and PDB should focus... Atiku and PDP should focus on the North, remembering how the North shouldn't vote for Igbo man. Leave LP alone. I think North also voted for uh, Peter Obi. Look, we shouldn't be playing the ethnicity card. We should be looking at capacity, uh, compassion, and capability. Okay, and competence is very important. Let's leave ethnicity to take us nowhere. Uh, this one here says, I can't, I can't still believe you underrated Obidia movement with all the data at your disposal. And the person here says, why are you writing Peter Obi is still going to the office, going to stay in the office? Let nothing happen to him, please. Oh. Besides, PDP should leave him alone and take that sense of entitlement and ownership of South East to another region. And the person here says, I remember how we came out en masse May last year to beg PDP to give us Peter Obi, but they refused. But today they are now running and begging for a collation. We are now Labour Party, and if we must accept PDP, there will be floor members. Nigerians are giving them water, waterways. Well, I guess at some point it's obvious that uh, Labour Party is now the main opposition from all indications. We hope that with time they become the ruling party as time goes on. Let's go wrap it up. Let's visit that conversation.